what's up guys welcome back to my channel jasmine jumia i am back with another wig review as promised and today's wig y'all i'm telling you to give you a whole new life okay i love this wig this wig is also by sensational um it is called trissa in the color jade and i'll be showing you guys the stock card and all that stuff here in just a second but i wanted to tell you guys when i got this wig in the mail i was like mm -mm. like why did I order this? But then when I tried it on, y'all, this wig is absolutely gorgeous. It looks nothing like you would expect it to look like. You guys know I don't like to talk, but before I move forward, please don't forget to subscribe to this video so that you don't miss any future posts um, by me. I would love to stay in touch with you guys. Also, don't forget to like and comment and let me know what you guys think. So if you want to see Trissa and the color jade, just keep watching. All right, guys. So let's get right into this review. So the wig that we're going to be reviewing today is by Sensational and Press. This is 100% premium fiber, which means that you can add heat to this. The wig is Trissa. One of my favorite. Y'all, when I say this. When I got this wig, okay, I was like, oh, my God. It's beautiful. Like, it doesn't even look like what you think it would look like. So let's just get right into it. This is the wig. The color is jade, so it's like a green type of color, and you guys will see. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take it out of the packaging so you guys can see. It does come with a deep center part. Um, it says natural center part, but it's a deep center part, and it's hand-tied with... Um, Pretty much hand tied with a deep center part so that's pretty much it it has all the maintenance and styling instructions on the back but let's just get right into it so you guys can see it so off camera i am going to cut the lace but i'm going to put it on my mannequin and apply my straightening comb um to it to kind of lay the top of it down and i'll show you guys how i do that so keep watching so before i even do anything to this wig i do want to show you guys what it looks like straight out of the package y'all look at this this is look at this color look at this and let me show you guys the lace now this wig does not come with the little baby hairs like most wigs but this is what it looks like you got the two cones in the front right here at the front um here's your deep center part and then in the back you do have the adjustable straps with the comb in the back so what i am gonna do is i'll show you guys how i go in and um kind of lay all the hairs down with my straightening comb so that I can cut the lace. So keep watching. Hey guys, so right here you just see me cutting the baby hairs and starting to create those. Right after this, I'm going to take and cut the lace off of the wig. But before I do that, I will take my straightening comb and flatten the top of the wig so that it does not look so wiggy and it doesn't have that hump. Hey you guys, so off camera, I went ahead and cut the lace on the wig. Typically, I do apply my powder to this part um, underneath the cap, but I didn't this time. But the powder that I use is the CoverGirl True Blend and, and it's in the color Translucent Sable the one that I use but this time I'm going to apply my powder directly to the part I did not move the adjustable straps so they're still in the same place and remember this wig does come with two combs in the side and one in the back so let's just see what we got here y'all because I mean all right so this is what the wig looks like on I have not combed it or brushed it or anything like that so we're just going to kind of brush through it I like to finger comb most of my wigs. I don't like to kind of mess up the curls too much. So you want to be careful with that. So here's what I am going to do. I do have my straightening comb. Do you guys see how it has like the hump in the top? This is the perfect time to go in and just kind of flatten that out. Cause you want it to look natural guys so but you don't want to comb it all the way through because you will mess up the curls so note to self this wig is so pretty y'all all right so now that i've done that i'm going to go in and apply some powder to the part should i get that to lay down super flat y'all So let me show you guys how much a difference uh, of a difference the powder makes when you apply it to the part. So I'm just going to go in and kind of apply this to the parting spot.
Okay, so right here, guys, I'm just going in and kind of fixing those baby hairs. I did cut some baby hairs at the beginning of the video, but they were not to my liking. So I just went in to try to correct those. And I did speed up this video because I did not want you guys to sit there and be bored watching me try to cut these baby hairs. So... Alright guys, so this is pretty much the end result. I'm going to do a turn so you guys can see the wig from different angles. This is on my left side and this is the back of the wig. Remember, I do not like to brush through my wigs, especially for the review so that you guys can see the true natural state of the curls. But ladies, if you want to brush, sis, get your brush on, okay? That was the right side and I'm just going to pull the hair to the back so you guys can see what it looks like. Look at those curls. It's giving body, adi, 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 okay? And I just stood up so you guys can see how long it is. It is mid-back, I would say. Um, so almost to my butt. But look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all, I was so in love with this wig. I was feeling myself. And then now I'm a new mom. So sometimes you have to switch it up okay i had to flip a switch flip flop <laughs> i'm just being silly y'all and my camera was falling like i'm gonna have to get me a new ring light but anyways i, I hope you like this video y'all don't come for me i tried my best guys thank you guys so much for watching this is the end result it's trissa jade is the color I'll put all the details in the description box below to in the link uh, to this wig as well. So thank you guys so much. And I'll be doing another wig review coming up soon. I don't know which wig I'll be doing. Um, they just come randomly, y'all. So thank you guys again for watching. I love all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Until next time.